Hi, it's Cindy. I'm back, and this time I have a Project Share organizational tip. Um, like most of us who craft today, I have a fairly large collection of metal, um, ephemera, accoutrement, um, a lot of them being Tim, Tim Holtz things, um, but not necessarily only Tim Holtz. Um, so I had them in a box that was getting overflowed and it was very hard to keep organized. I also happen to like Altoids, so I get a lot of these tins. I pulled 12 of them out of my trusty little storage drawer and started filling them up, labeling them with my label machine, and then I made a box to fit. Um, so you can see I have jewelry chain, large jump rings, miscellaneous eyelets, which just means that all my eyelets are dumped in there together, the same with my brads, um, another set of brads, I have a lot of brads, I love brads, um, miscellaneous metal, Tim Holtz, um, there are swivel clasps and those uh, little rings with the brads, um, that kind of thing, there's more than that in there, but I can't remember right now, these are the Tim Holtz buckles, um, Tim Holtz spinners with the brads, uh, memo pins, they're also Tim Holtz, metal corners, those are Tim Holtz, plus some other ones that I got from Buttery Scraps, and bulb pins, these are ones that I bought on eBay, as well as some that I got from Diane at a Pretty Pink Cottage, and these are bee charms, all sorts of bee charms that I've collected. Um, and so, yeah, that's what's in this box. I have more than enough tins to do another set, and I think I will. I have more than enough stuff to fill another set. So um, the one thing that I learned the hard way is that even though, if you're careful, you can stand this up like this. It was a dumb idea. I The first day I put it on the shelf, I did that. And the top four containers, including this one that says jewelry chain, and I'll show you what's in there. It is jam-packed full of ball chain. There's other chains underneath, but there's these little <laughs> ball chains that I use to hang charms off of books, albums, and whatnot. And it's just as full as it can get. But when it hit the floor, it bounced open and all the chains um, flew out behind me. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I sit in my wheelchair here at my craft table. So I tried to back up and be able to pick them up by myself, and when I did, I ran over the lid, and um, so I was trapped, and I had to make my husband do it. And he was good about it, but it was, it, it was not fun. <laughs> and I had to dig out another can, tin because I smashed one. Um, so that, unless you would make it more secure than I did mine, you couldn't do that. But I love to make boxes. I think I've mentioned that before. And I just decorated this with a bunch of scraps. Um, some of it is um, Prima paper from the um, stationer's desk. Some of it's just other papers that I had around. Um, so yeah, that's that little project. And it really did organize all this stuff. It keeps it all in one place. It's very neat and tidy used up these tins that I've had around forever. Uh, so yeah, I think it was a pretty good idea. Thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, tell your friends. And please come back.